The biggest challenge for media companies, I find, um, is that the iPhone marketplace, you know, like for good or for bad, um, the reason why it works is the same way iTunes worked really easily. Put your CD in the computer and it shows up on your iPod. Seamless. And it's the same thing with applications. And I don't, has anybody in this room bought a Blackberry in the last four weeks? Okay. I know somebody who has. All right. How many people in this room have the Blackberry App Store on their deck? How many people found it? Congratulations. That's amazing. That's <laughs> absolutely, good job. I mean, so BlackBerry wants to compete with Apple, and they're like, we're going to start, we're going to open up an app store and all that type of stuff. So what do they do? They decide, well, we're going to get into business with our carriers, and we're going to rely on them to put the app store thing out there, and hopefully they'll find it, and maybe the carriers won't want a piece of things. And I don't know, we don't have a billing system in place. Well, people do PayPal accounts, and it's just like, it's a really great application, and you can find programs that are made by great developers, but the problem is you don't know that, you, you don't, you don't know that it's there. And so I'm assuming that if you've bought a BlackBerry in the last four weeks, it's right there on the deck on the home screen, so you could just say, hey, apps, and I can do that. But you still need to set up a PayPal account. What Apple has done is they've made distribution seamless, right? If you own an mm -hmm. iPhone, you're, you have an app store, you have a credit card account with Apple, you, you have all this stuff, and it just works. And so the problem is, is that there's a lot of media companies that are out there that have created some actually terrific applications. The Wall Street Journal is a great application on, on there. Um, I think Reuters also has a pretty good one. There's a, there's a few others. That are that are really the LA Times may have one. I, I just haven't seen it, um, but I'm saying there's a lot of great apps that are out there for the BlackBerry, and it's also this huge market that's completely underserved with apps. There's so many people that have Blackberries out there, but just don't even know that they have access to this great marketplace, and it's a very underserved uh, area. So uh, unfortunately, the iPhone gets a tremendous amount of credit, but also the iPhone has a lot of limitations when it comes to updating and stuff. So. BlackBerry could be a better platform for media companies, uh, but the reality is it's just harder to get the distribution. 